of the most frequently asked questions we receive. Why do vehicles often have disc brakes in the front and drum brakes in the back? Look, you're coming in hot, and for some reason, you need to stop. What do you do? Instinctively, you lean back a bit. Why? Because you know that if you don't, your head is going to hit the floor. And what causes that? It's because this part up here is heavy and wants to keep traveling. The bottom part, which is closer to the shoe, holds up reasonably well, but the top part does not. In a car, it's exactly the same. When a vehicle stops, reasonably violent penal pressure causes the troops to crouch. The vehicle has a center of mass, which is reasonably located in the middle area of the vehicle, but it is at a certain height. The moment you hit the brakes, the mass keeps moving forward, and since there's a lever arm relative to what it's resting on, it will do this. I'll tell you. In cases of extreme braking, 70% of the braking force is going to be absorbed by the front end and only 30% by the rear. So, pay attention to this, because the vehicle puts a significantly higher demand on the front brake system compared to the rear. That's why the front brakes are disc brakes, because disc brakes are more efficient. In that sense, and the rears are bell-shaped. In fact, virtually all vehicles are now using disc brakes front and rear. And also note that the rear discs are usually smaller than the front discs for the same reason, because it's the front brakes that have to handle that intense braking. Do you understand why the nose dives now? Autotech TV, technology clear and simple.